In this video, I will show you how to set up image-based lighting using Blender Cycles. And make sure before you before I start it, make sure that you have Blender Cycles is set here, and then so you can do that live rendering. Um, it's actually not that hard. All you need to do is. Um, Sign environment textures to the world and you do that by selecting environment texture be careful not to select this select environment texture and then select your 360 panorama Let's just and for the factor you choose mapping don't choose this one choose mapping and then now here on this factor you actually now you choose generate it now if you look on the render view you see now it's rendering that's basically how you set up image based lighting for this background image I, I actually just uh, take a 360 photo using photo sync app on the iPhone it's not really perfect but it's looking pretty good in for the real production you take the actual high dynamic range image for the texture for the background image and it will give you much better render result okay maybe I will give an example of with a real model so import OBJ Okay, switch off to okay, that's my robot model. This is actually a very old model that I model in Maya. And with cycles, you know, you can easily change the material. For example, for the sword, just use emission. And for this material, maybe closely. and make it smooth first I can easily change the background into something else for example like that and I'll show you if you render it out firstly make sure the size is correct and then see by default it's actually rendering at only 10 cycles and that's very small and that's um, I set it up to 100 and then we set the camera and I hit render that's the final result but sometimes you don't want to have the background like this you want a different plate or something so if you want, if you want a transparent background you just activate transparent here and when you hit render now you get just your 3D 
image with a transparent background you got a nice alpha channel there so yeah that's basically it if you ever want to use a texture or something for image based lighting in that in cycles this is how you do it this is actually really nice if you want to do a turntable it's super easy to create and then oh yeah one more thing you can rotate the background using the z-axis rotation this is why you want to choose mapping before generate it so you can easily just rotate the background so yeah that's it that's how you set up image based lighting using cycles